Okay, well, our grandpa feeder has arrived. Um, we went for this design. The um, lots of the English made ones now, they're using plastic lids here. Uh, no good if the um, for attack against rats, they can chew through plastic quite nicely. And also using plastic treads as well um, down here, which, okay, it's, they probably work fine down there, easy for cleaning. But the problem you've got again is that plastic will deteriorate quicker than, than metal. Um, I'd like to make this solid. So we plumped one of these grandpa feeders. This is the large version, holds um, 18 kilos. Probably get a 20 kilo bag in there, I'd imagine. And I'll start with some of the things um, I like about it. First of all, it looks the part. Um, it's not tall like a lot of the other treadle feeders, so there's less chance of it blowing over in the wind, especially when empty, so you won't need to bolt it to walls. It's nice and wide, so on here we can get at least two fat lights, so six, up, possibly even three, maybe four. So I like that idea. I like the fact that this is a solid treadle. Um, there's no mesh there, which means there's no clag to get caught up. We can easily clean it down. Um, the action it seems nice when you open it up. It's nice and simple inside. You've got um, this very simple mesh keeping the beaks from taking out too much food. Um, yes, they won't reach the back, but it, it curves quite nicely there, so you can always scoop some out or naturally feed its way through anyway. But it's one big smooth curve from here all the way through to the back. So um, for cleaning out, it should be easy. This you can actually take out as well if you want to give it a good thorough clean. Um, you've got these side panels to stop chickens from poking their head over and get them snapped off. Uh, which, okay, good idea. And you might not be able to see a bit when the rain runs down here, it'll collect in this channel. What they've done is they've made sure that there's a lip, so a little gutter, so the rain should just run off the ends. All the rivets look nice and solid. The galve is a nice galve. Um, and the lid also, again, is not relying just on its weight to stay on, but it's actually locked in place by a screw at the front and a screw at the back here. So when you push, where well, the handle says push to open, push the metal in and just lift off and we'll see inside all one piece and each piece is nice they, they've rolled the edges so um, as you can see there rather than my pliers being in focus um, all the edges are rolled nicely and then galled afterwards so it's, it's, they've done a lovely job making it instructions ah yes this leads me on to um, when your chickens are new to it you've got a whole training program here instructions for their pest free feeders training program and what they've done because it's quite it's quite quite a clatter when it comes down, it can scare your chickens at first. And uh, what we used to do is the old feeders, we put a brick on here so it would be permanently open. They get used to it. They take the brick off. And that's it. What they've done is they provided these handy little bolts that you can flip round and invert. I'll show you on this side. This is the end here, and yeah, that that can stick out then, and it's, it'll stop this from dropping down. So you've got position there, first position, which is high. And there's another position there as well. So you can gradually lower it down, get your chickens used to it. Inside, as I said, the main chute is all one piece, which goes right to the front. There's the there's the mesh that you can lift out of the way. Reflection stone really helps. So that's easy for the grain to fall down or whatever you're feeding them, pellets, and uh, easy to clean out. Yes, you've got some flanges here which will catch dust. But the important things on the outside, all you've got is one piece of metal from top through to bottom to keep the rain out. The only point of ingress you could have is joints like this and on the inside here but that's not going to happen because you've got a nice tight edge there and the lip up here is obviously covered by the lid. Um, Anything else I like about it? The fact that it is solid metal, they've used nylocks where they need to, so these little chappies down here won't come off because they've got an integral nylock, nylock nut there, won't happen. And they've used, um, I think that's probably about it for now. The next thing is, um, we say one point they could do is the lid, once it's on, it's nice and simple to, to add back on again. If I um, Says with with two hands, it's easier. You're not holding it. There we go, locked on. See, that won't come off now. That's, that's, that's stuck. So any rain, uh, any wind rather, it won't blow it off. Which we have had with the ones we usually put a brick on top to stop it from falling off. Probably the same brick that we used for the treadle to keep the chickens used to it. 
Um, it, it's a nice sort of thing. It's sturdy. It's low to the ground. Won't catch wind. It's solid made. There's no plastic. The gal looks good. The quality materials look good, and it looks easy to clean out. Um, I have high hopes for it. Um, I'll give another review in a few weeks to see how we went on. But so far, I think I'm going to be quite happy, and more importantly, so are the chucks. <laughs>